let us now study about the Galilean telescope. About Galilean telescope, we can write that it also uses two lenses like a refracting telescope. But the difference is here one lens is a convex or a converging lens, and the other lens is a concave lens. A convex lens is used as an objective lens, which is closer to the object side. And concave lens is the eyepiece lens. And here we can also write the advantage of a Galilean telescope is shorter tube length. That is compared to terrestrial or refracting telescope, and it gives erected image without using the erecting lens, which we were using in case of a terrestrial telescope. We have discussed that in terrestrial telescope, we use an intermediate erecting lens to invert the first image so that the final image produced will be erected. Let's have a look on its geometrical setup here. The objective is the convex lens, which is f o, and at some distance from this objective, we place an eyepiece lens, which is a diverging or a concave lens. In the situation, if from infinity parallel rays are incident or from a distant object, and the second lens, which is a focal length f is placed such that the final image is produced in such a manner that this final image is located at a point which is the focal length of this eyepiece. So, if this is f e and this is the image produced, then in this situation. The final rays which are coming out from the diverging lens will be parallel to each other, and if any observer is looking onto this image, her final image will be produced at infinity, or I will be in relaxed state. Or this F E can also be taken as U E if final image is to be obtained at the near point of the eye. So in this situation here, we can see the final image is erected as well as In relaxed state of eye for final image production, the tube length is given as that is the separation between the two lenses. As this image is produced at a distance f o from the lens, so your tube length l can be written as f o minus f e. If the final image is to be produced at the near point of the eye, this distance c of f e we can use as u e, and corresponding calculations can be done.